What's up? Did you guys try to get in there? Oh, yeah, we, get yeah, we, we already looked like there. That. We've established this. Okay, I'm just double checking. All right. Well, uh, I guess just ask the. Uh, I guess that's what I have to do, but it's gonna be. Well, it's, it might not be that loud. Okay. Did you try using the remote again? Awesome. See? How no is that problem. not that loud? Now to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that you know, you gotta button. You gotta open it. Now you can reach the brick. Go long, bitches! Kobe! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Jerry Springer! Jerry! Jerry! This is way better than Meet the Kardashians! <laughs> Well, he doesn't have a lock anymore. Hey, bro. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. How you been? I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, I would have died for them. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. Funny how you're talking to him, and this is this no way affects the game. Well, it affects you, I guess so. Help you? Why would you die? You beheaded those two guys on in, one at the hotel in one swing. <laughs> oh my god, Jeez. dude! I'm trying to release you. Just die. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> Son of a bitch! There we go. Well, good thing you had the keys. Holy crap! Run! Really, dude? You had the scream. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> wait, wait, food, food, food. Got ah, shit, no more lock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got glass doors. They won't get in. We're safe. You severely overestimate the value of glass. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I'm betting there's someone in that freaking. I've got the keys. Great. The pharmacy. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I know I'm amazing. You should have seen what I did earlier at the hotel. Hurry. An alarm for the. But you used the key. The alarm system still goes off. You know from experience? I've knocked over one or two pharmacies. Sure, you did. I had to get that Advil, man. Was... God damn it, Sandra's back. The fuck, Sandra? <laughs> Look, she even had the time to change her clothes. Son of a bitch. Hey, Bob, get up! Bob! Food.
I hope all zombies are like that if that ever happens. Just move that slow. Oh yeah. I'll just slip around there. What's up, bitch? Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Why, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. You better. Stay away from the windows. Make it through this. I should know that I think you're a great guy. <laughs> we will make it through this. Doug, we <laughs> will make it through this. What the fuck? No. Oh. Close the door. I should know what? Huh? I said I should know. Yeah. This is really the time to have this kind of conversation. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Can you look for something to stick in between the handle? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh. No solicitors. Did you find anything? Nothing. A window is screwed. Go. Oh. Foot mesh. I found something. Grab it. Save. I'm going with the one with the gun. You don't want to save the fat guy? Eh, don't. Action reload. We'll spend a while. Oh my god. Let's go! I got done. Ah. They, they... You got move. God damn it, Sandra! Fuck! You argued with him. That was really bad. Oh. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Yeah. Fuck you, Sandra. I'm gonna kick that old boy's ass. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? I'm gonna shove that axe all the way up his ass. Pointing in first. <laughs> After I saved your fucking life. If I see him, I'm gonna put a bullet in his head. I hope that's the old man. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. Columbus, stage 
to Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. We got a really bitchy look on our face. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Damn, she had a boyfriend. <laughs> Could've gotten laid before this whole thing ended. his shirt meant. That's how I'm gonna remember him. He had an interesting shirt. What did it say? It didn't say anything. It was just a weird design that I didn't really understand. Alright. I'm coming for you, old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Can I borrow that axe? <laughs> hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. As long as you, you take it. care of that handlebar mustache, you'll be just fine, too. Uh, why are you, son of a bitch? Then you run into somebody else. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just let me get over there to kick his ass. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> You better have. Anyway. Oh no, I don't think I could respect someone who couldn't figure out that there were no batteries in the fucking radio. And then put the batteries uh, in backwards. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Did Please let the thing, yeah. <laughs> I think we all know. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Mainly there were four reasons. Three of them are on your person. Fourth was the gun. Right, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get to him. Let me just kick his ass! <laughs> yeah. I oh, see okay. you, so bitch! I see you! <laughs> oh, you're next! next. <laughs> you're next! What? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I'm sorry you have to I hang out with Duck again. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you Don't you have a walkie-talkie? I'll just keep this one, I guess. No, Glenn... Lee, come here for a second. Oh, yeah, call me over. Call me over. Call me over. Call me oh, over. I was about to go down. What do you want? You like my daughter? No. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Dude, if Lee dies... Oh, let me... Oh, let me just clock him! Lee? 
Do you have a second? <laughs> God damn it! If Lee died, he would give a would shit about the girl. For you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're Sorry, I can't talk to you. Your dad tried to kill me. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Definitely not. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. He's gonna end up hooking up with her. Just to piss the old man off. Oh, son oh, of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Kenny! Damn it, Kenny! You had to say something. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame Lily. Because she she's the one that put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, she did. So that's you. Alright. Now it's switching over to the... Eight fourth wolf. Next episode. Next, Next time, time Walking, walking dead. dead. Does Lee bang his <laughs> Doug's daughter? We'll I'd find out. You mean, what? Doug Doug was the guy that died. Oh, that would be fun if we survived no, the walkers. Yeah. Who was the name of the Uh Larry. Oh. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bands. Now we're gonna take what we want! You would never lie to my dad. Even back at the drugstore whenever you thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. This is a dick. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. You lied to Herschel. You chose Duck to save. You defended Kenny. Uh, you refused to give the gun. And you chose Carly. Okay. All right. See you guys Fine. next time. You and 46 of the players lied. 46%. Percent of yeah. The players lied. Thirty percent. Okay, yeah. Kind of surprised that that few people chose duck. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of dumb. <laughs> kind of fucked up. But you know what? Seventy percent of players are like, thirty pe people try to save duck. That's fucked up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? I actually wrote a paper on this game. Dear God. Hey, it's a good paper. All right. See you guys next time.